This $20 million machine never leaves the ground, but it trains real airline pilots. I'm an aerospace engineer, and level D full flight simulators like the ones built by CAE are designed to recreate flights so precisely they're approved for things like initial type ratings, recurrent training, and proficiency checks. They also let pilots practice high risk scenarios like engine failures at takeoff that would be too dangerous or impractical to attempt in real aircraft. These massive machines rest on six electric or hydraulic actuators, reproducing all six degrees of freedom. Because the platform's physical travel is limited, motion queuing algorithms called washout trick your brain by subtly resetting the cabin between queues so you feel continuous acceleration that actually isn't there. Inside, a full-scale cockpit sits within a 200 to 300 degree visual dome projecting live terrain, weather, and airport data. The flight model underneath is built from flight test and confidential OEM data, making stall behavior, engine spool times, and control feel nearly identical to the real jet. That realism is why both regulators allow pilots to log certain training hours and why engineers use these sims to test control updates before anything ever flies.